For this video, we're gonna take a look at a Qigong exercise to help to develop the internal tension when you're holding your bag with Zhang palms. We have eight palms that we work with. So number one, which is heaven, palm up towards the ceiling. Palm two, which is going to be earth with the palms facing down towards the floor. Three, which is fire, palms facing forwards. Four, which is thunder, so we're going to turn the forearms 45 degrees. Number five, we drop down to the solar plex, push forwards, this is going to be wind. For number six, we come down to the dantian and just push the wrists forwards, so this is water. We're going to bring the hands up to the shoulders for number seven, push forwards, almost like two vertical chops. And then for number eight, with the same position, we're going to twist the forearms in towards your center and then turn the hands out as far as you can comfortably. So when we're doing our Qigong, we're going to need to be able to increase the tension slightly when we breathe out and then relax the tension off the position when we breathe in. For number one, we're going to start at the shoulders, just push the arms away. The palms are up towards the ceiling. With all of these positions, we want the, the elbow at about 135 degree angle, and then we're going to hold. By including these movements into your Qigong, you're going to bring a little bit more life into the positions themselves. So it's going to allow the energy to travel through the body a lot more efficiently. So with number one, we're going to take a very neutral position and you're going to breathe it in and then push the hands forwards into that number one position. So palms up towards the ceiling. As you relax, you're going to breathe in and then breathe out and then twist the hands back up into that number one position. Okay, so you breathe in, you relax, and then as you breathe out, just twist and increase that tension through the arms and stretch through the palms. So when you begin to practice them a little more, you'll notice that they soften and become a lot more natural. Most of the movements are very similar, though there are slight differences in tension through each of the palms. For number two, we've got the palms down towards the floor. The hands are still up relatively at shoulder height, elbows slightly kicked out. For this one, we're going to start in that neutral position, so the hands in the center of the chest. You're going to breathe in, allow yourself to expand, and then push and roll the palms up into a number two. So this time, as you relax, you notice that you don't have to come out of it quite as much as the number one palm, and then breathe out, push the hands back into that position. And again, there's a slight stretch on the fingers. And every single time we're trying to get back into that number two position. So the hands are at shoulder height, palms facing down towards the floor. Number three is slightly different because we need to extend at the wrists, kick them all the way back as we push the hands forwards. We still want to take the neutral position. So find somewhere central again, and then the hands are going to chamber into this yin position. So we're going to just drive the wrist backwards through the in breath almost like you're pulling towards you. And then as you breathe out, you extend at the wrists and then push the Laogong point away from you as you breathe out. So we'll do the same thing again. We just settle in the middle. You're going to breathe in, bring the hands back. This time we don't want to put any twist in or out because it's a relatively flat movement. So we breathe in, we chamber towards us, breathe out, push the palms away into those two number three palms and then breathe in the fingers drop down almost like you're passing through a number two palm and then breathe out push the hands forwards and extend the wrists number four is going to be slightly different because we need to come up into this 45 degree angle on the forearms. So we need to soften that so we come back down to almost like a flat position and then we twist and drive the palms in. Try to find a very comfortable pos position to do this in. Um, you can put too much tension so it almost drifts into a number eight. But from the central position, we breathe in, allow yourself to expand, 
breathe out, twist into those number four palms. And then breathe in again, breathe out. And the movement is a twist. So you're twisting and driving those hands through. You'll notice that there is a natural curve to the palm as you come up. And again, this moves less forwards and back and more twisting up on that 45 degree angle. Now with number five, the fingers are going to go straight forwards. The key to this is trying to keep those elbows out a little bit, just so it keeps those quads open. As you breathe in, again, we're gonna turn the hands down. And then as you drive the hands forwards, you breathe out, stretching the palm. And you'll notice that number five has slightly less twist to it. So keeping it up at the solar plex level, there's a very small amount of twist as you squeeze the arms forwards. That's simply because if your hands want to relax, they come down by your side. So you have to let the hands drop slightly to push them back in. If you keep them here, it gets very uncomfortable as they come closer to your body. So just relax down, squeeze the hands forwards on your out breath. In breath, relax. Out breath, just start to add that tension. And again, you'll feel quite natural doing these spiral movements as the arms extend. So number six is quite tricky because as we breathe out, we're actually pushing the hands down. As you push forwards, we're going to roll the palm and almost push as if you're pushing your watch forwards and away from your body like this. So we need to keep the hands just in front of the body. The fingers are relatively forwards. We want to drive those wrists forwards on the out breath. And again, just trying to time your movements so they fit with your breathing. Number seven palm is quite a tricky one just because there's a lot of tension placed at the base of the wrist. So as we push the hands forwards, you notice that there's a lot of tension here in the crease. As we relax, we almost come back through a number five position here. We want to extend and we want to push the main focus being down here at the corner of the hand. As you breathe in from your number seven hand, you're going to relax, bring them more neutral and turn them slightly at an angle. So you're gonna get that kind of 45 degree halfway between like a number two and a number five. As you breathe out, you push those chops away from your body. Now, as you breathe in, you relax, let the hands come back down to a more neutral position and then breathe out again, a nice, slow, gradual chambering of the wrist as you push and then relax. Breathe out and push forwards into that number seven position. And then you gradually relax them off as you take your in breath. With number eight, this is the hardest position to hold whilst you're doing your static Qigong, simply because there's a lot of tension all the way through the arm, not only in the wrist, but up through the shoulders and also a squeeze into the chest. So from this position, we want to overextend that number four palm. So the number four is here and we're going to go all the way up. The neutral position for this one, as you twist, simply comes down to a slightly relaxed number four and just allow the hands to just turn and face inwards. You're going to breathe out and twist them all the way in. The more you do these exercises, the less movement you're going to need to create the same amount of tension. So you'll probably find that, especially with the number eight pump, as you get more comfortable holding this position here, just a very slight release of the elbows is going to be enough for you to relax and breathe in and then squeeze the elbows and turn the hands out. So just nice and steady, you're going to breathe in, just bring a little bit of that tension back and then just press forwards again as you breathe out, squeeze the elbows in and twist the fingers to the outside. As an additional exercise, just for practice, one thing that you can do is you can do your Qigong and just slowly move through the palms. It takes a little bit more focus, obviously, and it doesn't allow you to kind of hit that meditative state quite as much. 
but you can work through the eight palms and just practice your movements in and out of position. So from a neutral position, you can breathe in, breathe out into your number one, then soften, breathe in, breathe out into your number two, soften, breathe out into your number three, breathe in, roll into your number four, breathe in, again let the hands drop down, breathe out into your number five, breathe in, let your hands drop down again, drive those wrists forwards into your number six, now breathe in, we're going to move back up, so slowly transitioning back up to shoulder height with number seven, and then you're going to breathe in, roll the hands all the way over into your number eight. You'll find that as you do more of the standing Qigong or the Qigong exercises, separating up the palms and working in and out with this tension, it becomes a lot more natural and also it's something that will help you to develop in your forms as well. If you have any questions about the Qigong or the hand positions or anything to do with Bagua in general, please stick them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.